Here we have the electrolysis of copper chloride. We have a glass tube. In there we have a bung with two electrodes pointing upwards. And what we do is we fill this with liquid copper chloride solution. And we also fill up the two test tubes as well. We have inside this copper chloride solution copper two plus ions, chloride ions, and also we have the water making the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion. Let's put these in place. Now we have the electrolysis running. We've got two electrodes. We have the negative electrode called the cathode and this will attract the positive ions and we can see that happening here. And then we also have the other electrode, the positive electrode called the anode and this attracts the negative ions. We can see them moving here. If we zoom in and have a look and see what's happening at one of the electrodes and we'll look here at the negative electrode we can see that it's firstly got lots of electrons on it. This attracts the hydrogen ion but it's way too reactive, so it doesn't do anything. The copper ion is attracted, picks up two electrons, and is turned into copper metal, which is deposited on the surface. So the summary reaction of this is copper 2 plus, plus two electrons, gives us copper metal. Now, let's have a look and see what happens at the other electrode. We'll zoom in to see what's happening here. This electrode starts off with some electrons in it which are taken away which now makes this electrode the anode positive. The positive electrode attracts the hydroxide ion but again it is too reactive and so we leave the chloride ions to be attracted. They lose their electrons and chlorine gas is given off. The summary reaction of this is a chloride ion gives us an electron plus chlorine gas, Cl2. Oh wait, we've got Cl2. Therefore, we're going to need two chloride ions to give us the two electrons. And we can now get the gas bubbling off. To summarise then, the copper chloride solution, the copper ion picks up two electrons and turns to copper metal and the two chloride ions give up two electrons and form chlorine gas.